Hello, welcome everybody back to the fundamentals of electrical power systems for biorefineries. Today, I would like to talk to you about costs. I personally believe into four physical quantities as an electrical engineer. The one is the volt, because electric field and volt is necessary for the electrons to move from one place to the other. The second physical quantity to me is the ampere, which is the current. We want to have something flowing. The next is we want to have it sustainable, so the second is important. And if you multiply these three, by the way, you have something that is close to the kilowatt hour, which is the energy. And when it, we talk about kilowatt hours in electricity business, then the fourth quantity comes up. And the fourth quantity is the euro or the yuan or the dollar. So it's the money. And I think, for me, euro is a, something like a physical quantity. I blink with the eyes. So. When electricity is produced, the cost of it is made up of two factors. So one is called the so-called fixed cost, and the other one is the variable cost. Let's, let's take, for example, a coal-fired power plant. So you need, obviously, so and so many tons of coal per hour to produce an output of, say, 50 to 100 or 300 megawatts watt hours per hour. That is obvious that you have to pay for it. So the more electricity you produce, that means the further we go along the abscissa, the more the cost will increase. But there's also a second factor that is the so-called fixed cost or capex. Capex means, by the way, capital expenses. The capital expenses, that is the amount of money that you have to pay back to the bank or to the people who gave you the money in order to build the facility that generates electricity. So for example, if you have a loan, over 20 years, you pay something like 5% and more per year back, and that is fixed cost. That is independent if you run the plant or if you do not run the plant, because this is given by the contract when you borrow the money. So that means the general mathematical expression for this is Y is A times X plus B. B is the fixed cost, A is the proportional of the variable costs. What normally people are interested in is what is the cost per kilowatt hour. So this is the specific cost per unit. And the specific cost is given by the cost divided by the energy supplied. So if we divide this formula that we have here, the y divided by x, that is a specific cost, we arrive at something that looks like a hyperbola. The hyperbola goes down very rapidly, but is very high for low turnover, and it has a fixed offset. So the fixed offset, by the way, that is the proportional cost, but on top of that, you have always these variable costs. And the marginal cost is the just only the, this factor A is the fixed, is the variable cost. What is very important is to note this part of the fixed cost. The fixed cost, they are controlled by this hyperbola formula. That means if you have a high turnover, you produce a lot of energy, then you're in this area and the variable costs are the highest one. If you go back, you have a low turnover of energy, then the few energy sold has to pay off the debts of the whole plant, which makes it expensive. So there are different plants this is just a principal representation. There are different type of plants. For example, there is no plant where you have no fixed cost, but you have plants with low fixed cost and high working prices. So for example, these are gas-fired power plants. Then we have power plants where you have high fixed cost, but virtually no variable cost, like photovoltaic power plants, like wind power plants. And the biomass is somewhere in between. And the question is, who is the cheapest at the market is controlled by the amount of energy that you are able to sell. So I have constructed all these that they cross over in one point. And when you are above this magic output figure that is produced in terms of electrical energy per year, then the plant K, let's see here, the plant K is in between. The cheapest one, if you are in excess of this delivered energy, is the one with the highest fixed cost but with no variable cost. But when it comes to low output of energy, then suddenly this turns over 
the picture turns over and we have here the highest cost per delivered energy for that power plant that had the highest fixed cost and no variable cost. So this is the paradoxon that though you have no cost for your fuel, as people call it, you have the, nevertheless the highest cost per kilowatt hour. So this was a chapter about cost, my four physical quantities. And for further details and deepening information, please tune to the script.